guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to lead you through a 20 minute full body, no equipment hit workout. This is also a no repeat workout, so make sure that you can see your screen so you can follow along with me. And without further ado, let's get to it. Can you see me? All right guys, first up, you're gonna do two jumping jacks. One, two. On your third jumping jack, you're gonna bring the fingertips down to the mat. Really think about your core as you're coming down. Nice work. Next up, you're gonna do a plank walkout and at the bottom of your plank. Here, you're nice and flat. You're gonna do a half burpee, so bring the knees in to the elbows, jump it back to flat, and all the way back up. Here we go. Next up, we're gonna do some in and out squats. So you're gonna jump it in. As you jump out, you come down to a squat. In and out, 45 seconds, here we go. Guys, keep pushing. Keep your chest lifted all the way down in your squat. Good work coming down to the ground. Next up, you're going to do a reverse bridge. So feet are flat on the floor, reaching it up, down, switch. Nice and simple. Think about pressing those hips all the way up to the ceiling, squeezing those glutes. Good work coming all the way down on your back. Next up, we're just gonna do, nice and simple, some bicycle crunches. So extending the legs, bringing the elbows to meet the knees. If keeping the legs hovering above the ground is too much, you can just do some elbow to knee crunches like so, tapping the heels down. Remember to press your lower back into the floor.
Good work, standing up. Next up, you're gonna do a reverse lunge with a knee drive. We're gonna do 45 seconds on one side and then we're gonna do 45 seconds on the other. So you're stepping back into this lunge, pressing through this glute and the supporting heel, coming up, squeezing this glute, knee comes up. Don't forget about your core, keep it nice and tight, your gaze is looking forward. Come on guys, push through. Last one. Good work, 15 second rest. Give that leg a shake, we're gonna do the other side. Here we go, other leg. Find that sweet spot you're not too far over the knees and you're not too far back. Your body's hinging forward. You should really feel that in your glute. Press through that heel. Good, 15 second rest, down to the ground. This exercise we are only doing for 30 seconds. You're gonna do plank jacks. If you want to increase the intensity during these plank jacks, you're gonna add shoulder taps. If that's too hard, just do some plank jacks. Everything's nice and straight. Good work, we're taking a 30 second rest. Take a couple deep breaths. Going into our second section of this workout, we're gonna start off by doing some crab toe touches. So you're gonna be in a reverse bridge position, lifting up, tapping the knees, or reaching for the toes. Whatever you wish. Here we go. Nice work. Flip it over. We're gonna do some rolling planks. So arms are like this. You're in a plank. And you're gonna roll over to one side. Switching through center. Other side, here we go.
Come on, guys, keep going. A few more seconds. Nice work. Let's stand it up. Next up, you're going to do some side lunges. Nice and simple. Nice wide stance. One leg, then the other leg. Focus on sitting into that heel and sending the booty back. Let's go. Press through that heel to stand up. Squeeze those inner thighs together as you come up. Ten more seconds. You can do it. Push through. Good work. All right, back down to the ground. We're gonna do some mountain climbers. I say this with, he with hesitation because I know how much you guys love mountain climbers. And we're gonna do them for 45 seconds, so let's go. Get those knees in to the chest, booties down. Just breathe through it, you can do it. seconds keep it going Ooh. see that wasn't so bad all right on your backs arms and legs are both extended we're gonna do a single leg crunch so you're bringing it in fingertips touch behind the leg and back out Try to get those shoulder blades up off the floor. Press that lower back into the floor. Standing it up. All right, we're gonna do high knees for 30 seconds and then we're gonna take another 30 second rest. So push through with these high knees, get them up. If it's helpful, have your hands here, tap the knees so that you know you're getting your knees up every time. Good work. Take a breather, try and slow down your breathing here a little bit. We're just getting through our last portion of this workout. Whew. First step, you're gonna do a squat and then you're gonna bring your knee and elbow to meet in the center, focusing on that crunch. Exhale as you're doing that motion, think about your core. Here we go. Think about bringing your knee up in front of you. That will help you engage your core.
Nice work, back down on the ground. You are going to do a full sit up at the top of your sit up, four cross body punches, and then lower, here we go. Make those punches strong. Good work. All right, what is a mad fit full body hit workout without some kick throughs? I'm laughing because I read all your comments and I know <laughs> kick throughs are your favorite. Let's go, you're in a bear crawl position. Kick it through, back to center, 45 seconds. You can do it. Guys, push. Good work. Two more exercises to go. Next up, you're gonna hold a low plank. You can either hold the low plank or you can add some stuff to your low plank to make it a little bit more difficult. So you can hold or you can bring yourself back into a pike, thinking about those low abs. You can also do some hip dips here. You can also rock forward and back. Try to slow down your breathing here. Take some nice deep breaths. work standing up. Next up, we're gonna push it for the last minute. You are kneeling down and then you're gonna spring through this supporting leg. Explosive jump, down and jump. Only 30 seconds each leg, you can do it and then we're done. We're taking a 10 second rest, giving you a little bit of a breather before we do the other side. Here we go. That is it guys. Great job. Congratulations on making it through. I hope you guys enjoyed his 20 minute intense full body hit workout. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know how you did in the comments down below. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video from me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.